And that's what I stand for. I'm out for my city and for my people. I'll never turn my back on my city. No matter how much power I get, how much money I get, how much jewelry I get, I'm going to be the same nigga till the day I die. Do you have to th theoretically live in your city to help your city, though? Like, for instance, you said you go to Atlanta to shop there. Yeah. Can't you just go to Atlanta to shop and live there and still help your city of Baton Rouge, but from a distance? Uh -uh. I don't know no niggas out here. I'm not friends with no niggas out here. I don't trust no niggas out here. I'm not comfortable with niggas out here. I'm comfortable with niggas I was standing on the block with. I don't know them niggas. Them niggas might be looking at me like a lick, but the nigga I came up with and I was on that block with, he look at me like family. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 Movement. Real quick announcement about the Men 2 Movement. I'm gonna tell you just simple and plain like this. If I don't have 10,000 signatures by August, I'm not going. If I don't have a reasonable amount of currency in the uh, GoFundMe to where I can fund this whole thing, I'm not going. Um, the main thing I'm worried about though, I ain't really worried about the money too heavily. Um, you need to show love, you need to donate to the GoFundMe, but I started this shit so I'm, I'm good with that. I'm talking about the support. More than anything, the support I can get some pro bono, you know what I'm saying, lawyers that'll fuck with some shit, but, but if I show that I have support, if I can't get 10,000 signatures, but I am gonna say, if the GoFundMe only got, I think that motherfucker, like the numbers are embarrassing on the GoFundMe, I'm gonna say that. Um, if I don't have 10,000 signatures, I'm not going. Dog, I, I don't know what the fuck y'all think this is, I don't, like, if you think this is a fucking, I'm just gonna look and watch and see what happened and, and make comments on online. That's not what the fuck this is, my nigga. I, I'm using this shit as a way to get to the world, get this message out to the world. Don't mistake me for this, you know what I'm saying? Just a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a real fucking person, dog. Don't mistake me just for a nigga that's on, on your screen right now. Nah, dog. I'm trying to tell you now. I'm trying to tell you. So, that's, that's what that is. I didn't, dog, I, I made this shit. All right, man, we need to, dog, we need to do something about this shit, man. This fucked up right now. We need to do something about this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you gonna gas me up? You think I'm a duck? Yeah, yeah. You think you, like, dog, what the fuck? Dog, if a nigga, if we locked up and shit like that, and a nigga is at the table and shit, If a nigga at the table and we eating breakfast and, and nigga just a nigga just come up and slap nigga tray, you know what I'm saying, and then slap the nigga or whatever like that, and the nigga don't do nothing, just put his head down. Man, nobody can't ride for that nigga, no matter how much they may want to ride for that nigga, even if they don't like the nigga that slapped the nigga or took his tray and shit like that. Nigga can't do nothing if you don't do nothing for yourself. And that's what this is. Man, I'm not worried about no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting back. Three S is ready. I'm, I'm for niggas who was like, no, maybe out this motherfucker that don't see what the fuck going on. So, but I'm saying, if a nigga won't stand for his motherfucking self, this shit should be real simple. Dog, you sign the petition and then you post that shit, post that shit as if you the motherfucker that's running this shit. 
don't mistake my anger for like I right, man this shit ain't no nah, it, it's not it's not that the shit's not working I, I I salute everyone who has supported the movement but what I'm saying at this point is y'all must y'all just need some fire under y'all ass I'm telling you what's going on get online and post this shit on your social media talk to people face to face And I know this shirt is too small. Fuck you. Um, and this is in hindsight. All right. Today we're talking about uh, Teflon Mark. Teflon Mark. First of all, that is going to say it. The nigga really liked that for real. Um, this show ain't just about, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, that nigga ain't about that. That nigga, he lying like a motherfucker. It's not just about that. It's also about letting motherfuckers know how to read certain motherfuckers. This nigga is really about that. Like, he's really cut from that cloth. He's really that. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm coming to bring you now is as far as Teflon Mark's people, at this point in time, y'all have an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to be ahead of the game. NBA Youngboy, Kodak Black, Kevin Gates, Boosie, just go around the board. Any nigga that was like that for real, he's going to run into some hardships down this line. Like It's going to happen to you. Um, Teflon Mark, and first, let me get this. I don't know nobody in fucking Baton Rouge. I ain't go do no, I don't do, I'm not researching no nigga, I'm not no fucking nerd, I'm not gonna do no fucking research, I'm telling you what I see off my eyes. Yes, he, he really is that for real, he's not no hoe. Alright, he's not lying, he really, you know what I'm saying, really like that. Now what we gotta say is, we can make money off this gangster shit, but do we have to fall victim to it? Because Teflon Mark, he is still in Baton Rouge. He's still there. The niggas in Baton Rouge do not like Teflon Mark. You can't like him. He he really then came the fuck up. Like, he really is from... You can't... This is what the rap trap is. One of the reasons why Teflon Mark is as successful as he is we're going to take the business out of it um, as far as who he's dealing with, you know what I'm saying, behind like labels and shit like that. One of the reasons why he is so successful is because the authenticity that you get from Teflon Monk. You can tell that he's authentic going above and beyond the call of duty by staying in one of the most dangerous areas in our culture right now. Chicago, um, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alabama, um, Detroit, Pittsburgh, really any fucking way for real. New York, like any, like when you think about it, if you want to keep getting. This is the rap trap. If you want to keep, if you want to stay alive, you need to leave. But if you want to be looked at like really being that for real, you cannot leave. You can't leave. You look at some, you might look at some niggas. Dog, you know what it really is? It's like a fucking gauntlet. You have to get to a certain point. Like you got to be, you have to be loved and fucked with. Worldwide, not just in the South. You gotta be fucked with world. Meaning that folks in New York is playing boots. If folks in New York is fucking with NBA Youngboy, all right, now I can deal. I can get out of Baton Rouge. But until then, when you just fuck with in the Southern region down this bitch, dog, you go to if you go anywhere, all oh, that niggas a hoe. Now, because the niggas in Baton Rouge, the niggas in your hometown is now. They don't have to see you every day no more. So they can get a lot more loose with their lips. And they already feel like, nigga, when you dip, you took the opportunity with you. Nigga, if you stay here, now it's easier for us to get to you. Everybody's selfish. And when I say us, I mean other rappers. Dog, niggas is broke as fuck. 
Niggas is looking for lifelines in real life. Like niggas is act, walking up and down the road with they fucking need a phone ain't on. All they got on their phone is fucking songs. They gotta get the McDonald's to talk on the fucking phone with Wi-Fi. Niggas ain't got no number. And it's so crazy because niggas forget about them times when they had to walk and, and hit niggas blunts and shit like that. Like they forget about them times when shit start rolling for them because if they were still in that same mind, they wouldn't keep no niggas around them. And every artist, NBA Youngboy, and not Kodak Black, uh, they've been, they been, you know what I'm saying, trying to juice this nigga for, you know what I'm saying, money for a long time. But Kevin Gates is so many niggas that were did wrong by the whole city. The whole city laughing at you. Look how down bad that nigga is. God damn, what? And then that's why you have so much motherfucking... You know what I'm saying? Disdain for motherfuckers when you come up. Because it's like, you never are going to forget how fucked up you were. You never going to forget how you had to walk. And motherfuckers, not only would they not stop, these motherfuckers wouldn't even honk the horn or nothing. How they laughed at you. But as soon as it stopped, like, as soon as it started, you know what I'm saying, going up for you, yeah, what up, bro? I mean, and that's what money do. Money is, is the, you know, for, for us, it's the greatest healer of all. Money will heal anything except for sickness. It's crazy, ain't it? Money will heal anything except fucking sickness. You'll be instantly healed. All those niggas that you couldn't forgive, you can never see yourself forgiving, you don't give a fuck about that shit no more. And that's why the hood is such a dangerous fucking place to be. Because you're around all of these evil people that wouldn't be evil if they had money. But there is no money. Everybody is waiting on the first to hit so they can go get some fucking food. Nobody's budgeting. Alright, look, we got this much, we're gonna... No, nah, everybody's swiping to the fucking max. And niggas is trying to find any way possible to fucking survive. This is not a place to be. This is a war zone. Niggas, niggas is, is having, having guns that are worth more than them. You understand? Niggas is having weapons that are worth more than them. Saying that, nigga, you didn't chop the nigga down with a gun, you didn't put you didn't put bullets in a nigga that are more valuable than that nigga himself. The bullet that killed this nigga is more valuable than him. There's no way that we can see any worth in ourselves. Clothes too big, clothes too small, dirty. You, 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 you put so far to the wall that if you don't sell dope, you looked at like a hoe. Cause it's like my nigga, are you serious? Dog, ain't no other way to get it. Ain't no other way to get it. That nigga a hoe. That's why everybody who got a job look like. Look like a fucking civilian, like he just a, like a junkie or a hoe. Like nigga, you, you ain't gonna get out here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We we the niggas out this bitch, nigga. But in, in real life, the nigga that's out here is just one motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, police car ride to showing exactly who the fuck they are. A hoe. A hoe. In my eyes, dog, to be honest with you, any nigga in the street that has not been in that interrogation, if you have not been interrogation room tested, my nigga, I'm a, I have to look at you like you a hoe. And I'm going to treat you like you the police. I have to do that. You never been, nigga, you ain't never been battle tested. I don't know who the fuck you are. And, and when I say battle, dog, interrogation room, my nigga, look, I'm not talking about no bullshit. You coming in, bitch, you know what I'm saying? You got a fucking... 
bullshit ass uh, uh, attempt to distribute and shit like that. I mean, you can look at that. You can look at that shit and say a nigga kept it silent. But nigga, I'm really talking about. Because if a nigga failed that test, then you can look at it. I'm talking about, really, I'm talking about like a, a sentence where a nigga gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, go do some decades. Like a 20 year sentence. Like see a nigga stand up under that pressure. And that's when you street certified. When you stood up under that pressure. Like, because you, I'm saying, you you facing 20 years. So, which means you might, in court, that shit'll get bust down to eight. You do five. No, it, I'm saying, you was facing 20 years though. And you stood that fucking pressure like a real. Now you certified, but even to that, a nigga would do that, he'll face that pressure one time. Not, it's just like, you know what it is, like, you know what I'm saying, when we was younger, we can do all the mileage, all the pills, all the drugs in the world. But now that your body didn't slow down, nigga, you can't do them drugs like that. You try to do the drugs you did when you were 19, nigga, you'll kill yourself. But back then, nigga, you was, you know what I'm you, try, you try to fuck the way you fuck. You know what I'm saying? When you was 19, you'll kill yourself. You try to do damn near anything like you did when you was 19, you'll kill yourself. So now, a nigga 36 and you, he street tested, he been out here. Nigga 36 and decide, man, I can't take this weight. So you'll be fooled. You'll be fooled to think that anybody in the street is solid. Because at any moment, a nigga can waver. A nigga can waver under pressure. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you. The way that you see in the street is totally fucking backwards. First thing is, the niggas that you look at like they hoes is really the niggas who's strong because you withstanding the pressure knowing that the streets ain't the place to be. So you could be working at McDonald's. You going to that job every day is something that the niggas in the street can't do. They don't have the mental wherewithal to go in a job every day knowing that you have a plan. I have a plan. Not going to McDonald's every day or Walmart every day and then just so you can goddamn go buy some dope and shit like that. I'm talking about actually going to work, saving your money, putting the money in the house. You get whatever. You know what I'm saying? Actually trying to build something. Because you're not building shit in the street. My nigga, you're not building shit. Everything that you, my nigga, you gonna ball for six months. You gonna ball for if you ball for two years, nigga. When they, I swear to God, when they get you, it's over with, nigga. The only way you coming home is if you tell on somebody. If they let you and understand, if they let you ball, if they let you ball for two years, my nigga, they 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 gonna destroy you. They let you do that. That's all they were doing is building the case bigger and bigger. If they would have just watched you for six months, you might have came home in five years, in in sixty months or some shit like that. But nigga, they let you ball for two years. The only thing that you can do is tell on the plug and go take your five and then go do your uh your fair time for that goddamn five. That's what's coming for you. This ain't this ain't it ain't no this ain't rocket science. Everybody in the whole my nigga, the hood is this fucking big. Everybody know that you got the dope. Everybody know that, that you got to go to, to goddamn Big Twain house to get the goddamn dope. Big Twain, the only nigga riding around this bitch. In, in, you know what I'm saying? In the big black thing. Nigga get happy when he come around. Yeah. Niggas ain't robbing him. Really the man like that. He the only one that got to connect like that. My nigga, come on, man. If he ain't already the goddamn law. But another thing that we don't have to look at our situation as a war zone is if our women, first of all, our men, we stop poisoning our community and start uplifting it, going to work, bringing money to the house. As long as you out this bitch, uh, 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 you destroying somebody else's household that's right down the street. That smoker gotta walk or ride a bike to you. So nigga, he right down, nigga, this is your fucking community. So to get that money, he gotta climb through this window. Right in the community. You done took him down to nothing. How the fuck else is he gonna get it? But the other way we do it is not looking at our community as a war zone, but as our stronghold. So 
when we do get, if we all getting government assistance and shit like that, we we stop bullshitting. Stop bring all the money in and not push that and keep it right here. Keep it right here. We support a local farm or some shit like that. Maybe we bought and trade to where no money has to leave and we save. We try it. Stop buying this shit that we already have. We fingernails. If we do this for just six months, maybe I'm three months when we get our food stamps, we don't we don't go out this bitch and splurge and trade this motherfucker for dope. Keep this food in the house. They giving it to us for free. All right, now we don't have to spend. Let's go. Out, let's let's build. Or we just continue to live how we live. Day for day. Day for day. Hoping that tomorrow gonna be better, but how? How's tomorrow gonna be better when we not doing nothing today to ensure that it'll be better? And and, and you you talking about God, religion doesn't work that way. You don't see and see and see and see and then here come nighttime, I'm gonna pray for some good. Your actions are showing that you don't believe in God. No God, no greater being. You don't believe that. You believe in what you do all day, not in what you. You can't see that your 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 day to day life is your fucking punishment. You you're merely living to do dope. Can you not see how far you've fallen? You don't remember the 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 the. the the thoughts that you, the, the dreams you had when you first got pregnant, sweetheart? What you thought your child would be? Now look at him. Is he still alive? Do you blame yourself? Oh, well, you don't blame yourself, huh? But he had to go out there and bring money to the house because you couldn't stop doing dope. We we listen to rappers. We know they we the reason why we fuck with certain rappers is because they they telling our story. We live vicariously through them, and we we so we know the secret. We don't have to be in your house to know what's going on in your house. You not paying the bills. The only reason y'all haven't been evicted is because yo you didn't push your son into the street telling him any way you can get it. That McDonald's money ain't fast enough. Why the fuck you working at Home Depot? Big Twain got the dope. What the fuck? You, you must be scared to get out there. That's how mothers are talking to their sons nowadays. So that she can continue smoking. All, if, if I got the dope, all I got to do is fuck with these nothing ass hoes and, 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 and just... I can build me an army with they fucking kids. Just like on, uh, I, I should fucking know this fucking movie, but I, I don't know the name of it. Yeah, OG Bobby. Yeah, fucking. Uh, why the fuck can I think of the name of this fucking movie? Y'all know the name of the fucking movie. Yeah, he got your boy out there selling, stealing cars and shit, like stealing uh, radios. I can have all these little boys. All I gotta do is go smoke with their mama, go get their mama a little dope, and I pretty much uh, and take it back to beast, um, beast of no nation. A whole army of just little warriors, all of them ready to, you know what I'm saying, do whatever. And all I had to do was get up under their mama, like I'm just building my and all these little charge sponge, bullet sponges, this little little niggas that just love me, just give them a little shit, whatever like that, because mama. All she want is the ounce of loud. And I'm doing that with at least six bitches. Oh, dog, if you want the best place to go for human livestock is the fucking hood. Male or female. 
I'm not gonna go into the female side of it because we'll be here all day with that shit. But you already know how that go. Mama smoking crack. Why in the fuck, bitch, you was, already, you was hitting the bag while you was pregnant with your daughter. You ain't even, you didn't even love your child enough to give them a, just a, a, a even chance at life, a, a, a regular chance at life. You, you went ahead and crippled them before they even got here. But you, you, you the mother of the year, and we supposed to put hearts on your Facebook picture when you post a picture of your motherfucking autistic child. Like, we don't know how that fucking child got autistic. Like, we don't know how that child was born with... Let me stop. Let me stop, man. Let me stop. If I was the government, and I wanted to test M MK Ultra, I would put poison in the water that flowed directly through the hood and see what the fuck it did. If I wanted to experiment on humans, I would test the fucking projects. Projects, experiment, it, 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 like it doesn't take, because all they'll do is fuss and yell. Fuss and yell. Oops, my bad. Shit. Oh, this shit got in the water. Oh, fuck. What up, Flint? Because we don't give a fuck about it. Like, we don't care. Huh? If I wanted to go and start a, a fucking... If I wanted to go test weapons, I would do it in the fucking projects. I would leave a crate of weapons. Like, it just fell off a train. Oh, shit. Right here in the middle of the hood. And I would let them go to war. But first, what I would do is poison them mentally so I would drop dope there. And the dope that fucks with the mind. I.e. the crack era. But we have right now we have artists like Teflon Mark who are about that life and we praise them for being about that life. I ask y'all when this nigga die, this all, when this nigga get killed or go to prison in a couple months, which he will, I'm telling you, Teflon Mark in a couple months will be arrested or shot. What are you going to say? Tef Let me tell you, Teflon and Teflon family, they're not going to, they're going to go right to the next artist. They're going to go to the next artist. Or they'll listen to Teflon a little bit more that day. But believe me, if y'all just fucking incorporated with the big label, you better understand there is no better way to promote an artist than within a fucking arrest or shooting. Whether the shooting ends up in a death or not, we gonna win. It's not hard, dog. Look at Young and Ace. You not, dog. You not gonna be about this shit without some type of repercussion. It's just what it is. So y'all might wanna get y'all shit together. Rap trap. I'm Hale Conseco. Make sure y'all hit that PayPal. Make sure you hit that cash out. All my men, two members. Y'all better get to work. I'll see you in a minute. Love.